Most think of forum shopping as choosing the best state for filing a lawsuit, but forum shopping also occurs globally. When a plaintiff tries to enforce its Canadian judgment in Mississippi, the defendant uses the Speech Act to ensure the plaintiff's pleas fall on deaf ears in Trout Point Lodge v. Hanshu. Doug Hanshu ran a news blog in Mississippi. Hanshu posted about Aaron Broussard, a politician who was convicted of bribery. Broussard owned property in Nova Scotia, Canada, near Trout Point Lodge. Hanshu claimed that Broussard had connections with the lodge and its owners. The lodge and its owners sued Hanshu for defamation in Canada. The claim cited Hanshu's mean and homophobic posts about the owners and posts connecting the lodge to Broussard's crimes. The claim usually failed to identify the false statements or provide evidence of falsity. Hanshu didn't participate in the case, so the court defaulted him and awarded the plaintiff's damages. It awarded damages for the whole claim and Hanshu's later statements. To collect, the lodge filed the judgment in Mississippi State Court. Hanshu removed it to federal court and moved for summary judgment, arguing the Securing the Protection of Our Enduring and Established Constitutional Heritage Act, or Speech Act, barred recovery. The lodge filed a cross motion, seeking to enforce the judgment. The court determined that, if the lodge had brought the case in a United States court, it wouldn't have recovered. So it couldn't collect the judgment. The lodge appealed to the Fifth Circuit.